Hey, welcome to Naoko's Happy Donabe Life. I'm going to make Saito Nabe tonight. It's a Donabe hot pot dish. So I'm going to make the broth with Saito Miso. That's sure. a chop style white, sweet white miso. And I have all the vegetable ingredients. I have chicken, lots of ginger, and uh, shrimp. So it's super easy one pot dish and very healthy. Yes, so I'm going to use last Life size donabe. Uh -huh. You can make it with a medium size too. I've been using this donabe maybe like a few months uh, already. Wow. And yeah. So it looks really used. Is it, that, right. Is that part of the thing? Yes, yes. It's uh, it's actually very, very natural. The more you yeah. use your donabe, you see more like the dark spots and the crackles uh -huh. and. And these are all the welcome signs, and you should be kind of proud of that. You know, the donabe is being used, it's right. becoming more personal, and so we cherish this. So I have about half cup of saito miso. Again, this is a sweet white miso, low in sodium. And if you cannot find saito miso in the market, look for sweet white miso. If you find just a regular miso, that's fine too. But salt content will be higher. So. Mm -hmm. Just use less amount. This is because white shoyu, so it's a light color uh, shoyu. And uh, you can use regular shoyu too, but you know, if you use regular color soy sauce, the color of the broth will be darker. So be mindful of that. Okay. And here's sake, about quarter cup. And regular sake is fine. It doesn't have to be premium quality sake. And here's that's it. Okay. So I have the miso. I'm gonna add the I should show you my color and then just start whisk it. Making the broth, uh, this is so easy. And then uh, sake. I love adding sake and it's not gonna make the broth any alcoholic anything because all the alcohol will evaporate over cooking. Yeah, but it really kind of adds a nice layer of flavor. By the way, I love Saikyo Miso so much. My shop, Toyo, mm -hmm. carries the really premium quality Saikyo Miso from Kyoto. We only get the, this Saikyo Miso a few times a year. So when available, I suggest you grab it. And this Saikyo Miso is so good that you can just enjoy on its own. as like a, you know, with a bit of sticks if you like. Or you can make the nice dipping sauce. So it's Quite, quite versatile. So this is how I'm gonna start to build the donabe. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna put all the ingredients up all at once. I'm gonna start putting the ingredients which takes a little bit longer time mm. to cook. So I start with the napa cabbage first, the bottom part. I use a lot of napa cabbage. I love napa cabbage and you know they cook down so you know tender and small so so Feel free to use kind of generous amount of it. Okay. Yeah. And I have daikon. Mm -hmm. What is daikon? Daikon is like Japanese radish. So good. So I slice this into this. If you have like really thick daikon, you can slice and you can maybe uh, half, you know, cut it further into half or quarter. So this is boneless, skinless chicken thigh. I actually, it's not necessary, but I like to lightly season with sea salt and lift, uh, lift them over, you know, like a few hours to overnight so that the flavor of the chicken will really kind of get concentrated. So, and the texture will be nicer too. Mm. And then I put the remainder of the kind of leafy part of the napa cabbage. Mm -hmm. It's looking good already. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's not forget the ginger. I love ginger so much. So it's kind of a lot of amount. I <laughs> cut into really thin, like needle thin. Wow. Yeah. But uh, you can put as much or small of ginger you like. You're a ginger girl. I'm a ginger girl. Yes. Uh, especially in the winter time, ginger flavor is so comforting and also keeps your body really one for a long time um, after eating this dish and then I'm just gonna pour over the broth I just made yeah. Yeah. 
I love this broth. Over medium high heat and wait until it starts to kind of uh, start boiling. So let's take a look. Ooh. So I need a simmer uh, for about a few minutes after I turned on the heat. And also, when you heat them, make sure to stir sometimes so that the bottom won't get, you know, uh, burned, uh, possibly burned. So this is uh, already looks so good. <laughs> All right, but I'm gonna add the remainder of the ingredients. So first, some tofu. Oh yeah, some tofu. Yes, so I use medium firm, but it's up to you uh, what kind of tofu you use. And mushrooms. Today, I use, this is like a uh, king oyster mushrooms. But again, uh, it's up to you what kind of uh, mushroom you use. It's so good. Carrots, got the uh, shrimp. Mm -hmm. yeah, like medium large size shrimp. It's good. And today I'm gonna add the bok choy. Oh, I love bok choy. Right? I like the texture of bok choy too. Sure. Yeah, it's so good. It's kind of like that. And I'm gonna cover again, and then it's basically, I'm gonna continue to cook until done. So it's gonna take just maybe just a few few more minutes, that's it, okay? One, two, three. Woo oh, that looks really good. Right? And I tell you, I wish you could smell this, the aroma of the ginger and miso and all the ingredients cooked in this. It's just so, such a nice aroma. So yeah, looks like everything's cooked through and ready. We have shrimp, we have chicken, tofu, and we have some broth. Mm. Like yeah. And I would suggest when you do hot pot with your family or friends, uh, make sure to save the broth after eating all the ingredients. And in the same broth, you can cook noodle or rice and you know, we call it shime or finishing course. So good too. Oh, what do you? What is this green stuff? Ah, uh, yes. This is called yuzu kosho. So it's one of my favorite condiments. Um, this is like a mashed yuzu Japanese citrus rind with salt and green chili pepper, and it's it's not just uh, really hot. Uh, it's actually really kind of mellow mm. and just so tasty. And this is optional, and or you can use different kinds of condiments you like. But I like to just put it kind of like on the side, mm -hmm. and then enjoy with the. Itadakimasu. 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 It's gonna be hot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with the mushroom. I love mushroom, and then put the little bit of this kosho. So tasty. Taekwondo. <laughs> mm -hmm. The broth. The broth is really to me the best part of this dish. So again, put anything you like in this broth and don't have a one pot dish. It's always so healthy, so comforting and so easy to make so I hope you get to try this at home. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Ronald Life.